We have new developments this morning in the terror investigation in Belgium. Investigators have captured a suspect who may, may be that mysterious man wearing a hat caught on camera moments before and after the deadly bombing at the Brussels airport. And ABC's Alex Marquardt is on the story now from Belgium. This morning, the burning question is the hunt for the so-called man in the hat over. Belgian authorities believe he could be one of the five men now in custody. Here, a video of one of the dramatic arrests on Friday shot from a neighbor's window. Police pinning the man on the ground, his hands behind his back, then dragged away. The biggest arrest, Mohamed Abrini, a 31-year-old Belgian, also tied to November's Paris attacks. He was seen two days before at a gas station with Paris attacker Salah Abdeslam. Today, authorities investigating whether he's the infamous man in the hat from the Brussels airport. New video released by police this week showing the suspect casually walking away as suicide bombers detonated their explosives in the departures hall. Those attackers and bombs came from this Brussels apartment, a virtual bomb factory, and Abrini's DNA was found inside. The man in the hat was spotted by a surveillance camera again almost an hour after the airport attack. His coat gone, looking like he's on the phone. It's just before the bomb at the Malbec metro station goes off at 9.11 a.m. Now, Belgian authorities also trying to figure out if a suspect they have in custody, named Osama K, was at the metro station with the suicide bomber. The same suspect seen at a mall, they say, buying those bags used in the airport attack. This is the first time Belgian authorities have acknowledged a second suspect at the metro station. The man they have in custody was using a Syrian alias. Both suspects believed to have gone to Syria to join ISIS and made their way back to Europe.